so good to see you We do this every day And I'm still so amazed by you So hold me tight through the channel I am so excited because today is the day that we finally received our new couch so we ordered this couch back in October and we ordered it when we first moved into this home and we knew when we ordered it that we were going to have to wait a while because it was on back order but it was so worth the wait. I love it and the cats love it so I'm gonna show you. So I'm not entirely sure um, what kind of pillows I'm going to put here. I have this pillow here as like a temporary placement uh, but this is from my reading room I got this from Urban Outfitters um, and then we have Margo here <laughs> and we have Ellie and it's just like a sectional couch so it goes all the way around here um, but yeah I really love it I love the color and it is so comfortable I'm really excited to do my daily devotionals here every day and I'm also really excited because I received a Luca and Gray package in the mail and you guys know how much I love Luca and Gray and they had a sale over the weekend um, it was a Valentine's Day sale so Luna is currently late laying on my clothes, so I'm gonna carefully take these away from her. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing I picked up is an eyelash cardigan, and this is such a beautiful pale pink. This is my absolute favorite color, and this is so buttery soft, and I love the buttons on this. I like how they're not like perfectly round. They're kind of like egg-shaped, <laughs> and so I just thought this was so cute. And then I also picked up a pair of jeans. These are the brand Amuse Society, and I am obsessed with the color of these jeans. They are such a beautiful pastel blue. They're kind of like a beachy color, and I'm very excited because the flared jeans are making a comeback. So they have a nice flared out bottom, and they have a nice natural edge um, and I ended up getting a size 26. Luna, I'm so sorry. Oh Luna, you're making biscuits on my cardigan? <laughs> I have to show them, okay? <laughs> okay, Luna doesn't want to give up the cardigan. <laughs> um, Luna, here, here, you can have this blanket instead of the cardigan, okay? <laughs> here, you can have this. Look, you have this instead. There you go. Yeah, look. Cat mom problems. Yep, you just take this blanket and I'll take the cardigan, okay? Good job. Okay, anyway, um, I ended up getting this popcorn textured cardigan and I actually have this in a pink color as well and I wear it so often that I decided to get it in white and it also has little pockets and I just love this. It's like a little fluffy cloud. And next I got this cinched top and I've noticed that cinched tops are so popular right now <laughs> and I think they are so cute and I think this will look so great with little skirts, 
for the spring and the summer and I also think that this will look really great with my jeans and my cardigan and then the last thing I got is a matching set and I think this has the cutest name um, it's called the vanilla latte set and it also comes in hazelnut and matcha and this has a cute little cropped fit and it has a really nice material it's very thick very soft and here are the matching bottoms they have a nice elastic waist and some pockets and a wide leg and I think I'm going to wear this like every single day <laughs> I am so excited um, so yeah that is what I picked up from Luca and Gray and then I also picked up something from Barnes & Noble um, but before I show you that I actually have some footage of me at the bookstore because you guys know I love doing bookstore vlogs um, so it was the perfect trip to the bookstore it was snowy and cozy and I hope you guys enjoy I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations so oh. Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free, oh my sweet baby I was never the one to give up the ghost, no I was so stuck I kept on playing my part, wanted to give up cause nothing was changing But with you it's so clear and now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum Guess I finally learned my lesson Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh, my sweet baby So the book that I ended up getting is very, very popular on Bookstagram. It is The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue and I really hope this lives up to the hype. Everyone says that this is absolutely amazing and it sounds amazing. The whole idea of it just sounds so interesting. It says, never pray to the gods that answer after dark. France 1714. In a moment of desperation, a young woman named Adeline meets a dangerous stranger and makes a terrible mistake. As she realizes the limitations of her Faustian bargain, being able to live forever without being able to be remembered by anyone she sees, Addie chooses to flee her small village as everything she once held dear is torn away. But there are still dreams to be had and a life to live and she is determined to find excitement and satisfaction in the wide beckoning world, even if she will be doomed to be alone forever. Or not quite alone, as every year on her birthday, the alluring Luce comes to visit, checking to see if she is ready to give up her soul. Their darkly thrilling game stretches through the ages, seeing Addie witness history and fight to regain herself as she crosses oceans and tries on various lives. It will be 300 years before she stumbles into a hidden bookstore and discovers someone who can remember her name. And suddenly, everything changes again. I have goosebumps. This just sounds so intriguing. It must be so strange for Addie to live this life where no one remembers her. It would be 
so lonely to not be able to build lasting relationships and I'm so interested to see how she copes with that and I'm also so interested to see how this certain person is able to remember her. I think that is so, ah, I don't know. It's just so unlike anything I have ever read. And it says, this is a defiant, joyous rebellion against time, fate, and even death itself. And a powerful reminder that the only magic great enough to conquer all of it is love. So I will keep you guys updated on this. If you want to follow me on Goodreads, I always have that linked down below. Um, so yeah, that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys again soon. Bye!